Lesson 7 is about line segments and rays, and then also about linear measure. In order to understand linear measure, it's helpful to understand a few basic things about lines. And if you saw this shape right there, you would say, oh, that's a line. We can use lines to make different shapes. For example, I could take three lines and make a triangle with those three. Now I have that shape. When you're in mathematics, though, we have three different ways to designate what we normally call a line. And I have those three problems there, A, B, and C. One of those is called a line. The other one is called a ray. And then another one is called a line segment. Now, why don't you just try to make a guess at this? You can also read in your book to help you figure this out. But next to each one of those, go ahead and draw those on your paper and then decide which one is the line, which one's the ray, which one's the line segment. And just write next to each one of those what it is, write the name of it. Well, the first one is called a line segment. And again, this is just in mathematics. We have three different ways to talk about what we normally just think of as a line. And a line segment has two dots at the ends, or one at each end. And when we see that, that represents to us that that's just a portion of a line. So that means a, a line segment. A segment means a section or a portion of a line. B, that's what a ray is. In mathematics, a ray is basically half a line. See, on the left side, it has a dot. So that means that's where it stops. On the right end is an arrow. And just think about this. If we wanted to, I mean, your paper, you'd run out of room. But you could have a line and just draw it forever and ever until you go off the page. If you had a big enough piece of paper, you could just continue that ray to the right as, as long as that piece of paper was. So in mathematics, we just think of that as the ray has a point where it has an end point. That's the dot. And then to the right, this ray, it just goes on and on forever to the right. That's what the arrow designates. Of course, you could have a ray that goes the other direction as well. And then C, that's what we call a line. In mathematics, that's what we refer to as a line. So like when we drew that triangle, we use three line segments. If we wanted to use the correct mathematical definitions there. A real mathematical line, it goes on and on in both directions forever. So line segment, array, and a line are the three ways we think about a linear shape. A linear shape means something that looks like a line. Let's go on to the next part now and talk about linear measure. Now, when we measure something, say you wanted to measure the length of your table, it's important to know what units you use. Like if I said my table was 42, that wouldn't tell you anything. But it would be important, it would make sense to you if I said it's 42 inches or it's 42 centimeters or 42 feet long. And the reason that makes more sense is because I applied units to that numerical value. Now units, those are basically just values that we have agreed upon to describe a certain amount or a certain measure. For example, we know that there are 12 inches in one foot. We know that there are 3 feet in one yard. We know that there are 5,280 feet in one mile. And so units are used to give meaning to a numerical value that's been made during a measurement. Now, we're going to discuss two different systems of measurement, the US customary system. And we're just doing linear measurement right now, measuring length, ways and units that we use to measure length. And we'll be discussing inches, feet, yards, and miles. In the metric system, we'll be discussing millimeters, centimeters, meters, and kilometers. Make sure that you have a ruler that has both the metric system and the US customary or English system of measurements on it. 
Now before you go any further, you should do the activity on making an inch ruler on page 31 and 32 of your book. And they say there you need a strip of tag board. Now, I don't know what tag board is. I would just use cardboard or uh, a long index card, one that's like a 5 by 7 index card, so it's at least something that's at least 6 inches long. And just complete that exercise. Then turn the CD back on and we'll do a couple of practice problems for this lesson. So look at practice problem A there. I have a English customary system ruler. It's in inches there and it's broken up into quarter inch segments. Tell me how long that red line segment is there that I've drawn. One thing you might want to do is put vertical marks on the end and that can that will clearly show you there where it stops and you can see that it stops at two and one quarter inches. So you can write your answer two and one quarter. Now remember we're doing a measurement here and so anytime you do a measurement of any kind whether it's measuring length or measuring time or measuring the volume of something you should include the units it's very very important to include the units otherwise that number makes no sense I mean two and one quarter if I told somebody oh that line segments two and one quarter that doesn't mean anything is it inches centimeters miles what is it and we know that this is an inch measurement here so we would write two and one quarter and we can just write IN with a period after to abbreviate inches. And so that's our answer. If you write two and one quarter down, that's only half of that problem. And so if you're doing that on a test or on your homework, you should only get half credit if you wrote two and one quarter. The other half of the problem is the units, and that's really important to put them on there. Let's try one more of those. Now this ruler is a millimeter ruler. Those tick marks are in millimeters so you have a longer bar there at 10 at 20 at 30 tell me how long that yellow line segment is now again we can make vertical lines at the ends and that will help us clearly see where it stops and we can count there just start at 30 1 2 3 4 5 and it's 35 millimeters long so we need to not just write 35, but we need to write our units, millimeters. And so that's the length of that line segment. Okay, well that's all for Lesson 7.